When it comes to investing, in my experience, people tend to find ISAs much easier to understand than pensions. With ISAs, it's pretty simple. You invest your money, it grows tax-free, and you can pretty much take out what you want whenever you want. With pensions, it becomes a bit more complex. There's rules around different ages at which you can access your pension, and also tax on the withdrawals you make from a pension. Now, unfortunately, there's no way you can transfer a pension into an ISA, but there are ways you could withdraw money from a pension and reinvest it back into an ISA. And in this video, we're gonna be exploring some of those scenarios. I'm Carl Roberts, Chartered Financial Planner at RTS Financial Planning. So before we go into some of the strategies for moving your money out of a pension and into an ISA, I just want to be clear that when we're talking about pensions here, we're talking about a defined contribution pension, a personal pension, a bit like a SIP that allows you to take flexible withdrawals from a pension pot. Okay, so the two strategies we're looking at here to move money from a pension to an ISA, the first one is using your pension tax-free cash lump sum. Okay, so the first time you access or try to make a withdrawal from your pension fund, you should be entitled to what's called a tax-free lump sum. And this is usually 25% of the value of your pension. So essentially, you could withdraw 25% of the value of your pension. That will then come into your bank account. And obviously, once it's in your bank account, you can do what you like with it. You could then reinvest that money back into an ISA. Now, with ISAs, you are limited to £20,000 contribution per tax year currently. So you may find your tax-free lump sum is bigger than this. So if that's the case, then you're going to obviously leave quite a bit of money still sitting in cash. You could, of course, use your spouse's uh, ISA allowance, that's a further £20,000. And if you're close to the end of the tax year, you could obviously do this tax year and then do the following tax year's ISA allowance to start rolling uh, quite a bit of that tax-free cash into an ISA. But this may not be the best idea for someone like yourself. Um, a couple of reasons for this. One being, if you take your tax-free cash now, and it, particularly if you take the whole 25% tax, tax-free cash now, you, know, you won't be able to take any further tax-free cash down the line. So if your pension was to grow through good investment growth, then yeah, you've limited the amount of tax-free cash you could take out there. There's also another issue, and that's inheritance tax, but we'll come on to that more a little bit later. Okay, the second option for moving money out of a pension and into an ISA is to use a regular income from your pension. So again, if, you're, if you've got flexible access to a withdrawal from your pension, you could take out some money every year and then deposit that into an ISA. Now this could be a really good scenario for someone that doesn't currently have any other income. So perhaps you're on a career break or perhaps you're living off your uh, spouse's income for now, or perhaps you've sold a business and you're just withdrawing money from capital. Everyone's entitled to a personal income tax allowance of around £12,500 a year. It means you can earn £12,500 a year before paying any income tax. Now, if you make a withdrawal from your pension that's above your tax-free cash amount, this is usually subject to tax, and it's sort of counted as earnings. So what you can do in this scenario is essentially draw down from your pension £12,500 a year. You won't pay any income tax on it because it fits within your personal allowance, and then you could move that money and invest it into an ISA. And this is really good if you're in that window where you're not currently earning anything, but in the future you're gonna be receiving your state pension and potentially other pension income from maybe a defined benefit pension, a final salary type pension. It just means now's the time to start moving money out of your personal pension tax-free and keep it tax-free forever by moving it into an ISA. So that's a really good tip to look out for if that affects you. So if you are really keen to move your money from a pension to an ISA, there's a couple of things you really need to be aware about. We mentioned it earlier, the first one is inheritance tax. Pensions are a really good inheritance tax planning tool because money invested inside a pension is free from inheritance tax. It's not the case if you move money out of a pension and put it into an ISA. So do be aware of that. Also, another thing to be aware of is um, the lifetime pension lifetime allowance. 
So every time you take money out of a pension, you're effectively crystallizing the amount you're taking out, which means a lifetime allowance test will be done. And if you're close to the lifetime allowance limit, you could find you're incurring quite a substantial tax bill through the lifetime allowance tax charge. And finally, um, another thing to think about, particularly if you're still um, working and you're still planning to put money back into a pension, perhaps through employer contributions, is the minute you start to receive flexible income from your pension, it means that you result in what's called the money purchase annual allowance. And this basically limits the amount you can put back into pensions, limits you and your employer, the amount you can put back into pensions to currently £4,000 per year. So that's called the money purchase annual allowance. So you do need to think really carefully before you make any decisions on releasing money from your pension and putting it into an ISA. As always, the devil is in the detail. I hope you found this video useful. Any further questions, just please leave them in the comment section and we'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible.